Welcome to John Snow Labs Spark NLP video series. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Spark NLP and run it on Python through Jupyter Notebook. The first thing to do is to install Jupyter. If we don't have already, we should do it as a system administrator. So we call sudo pitry install Jupyter. Once that has finished, ne the next step is to install PySpark and its dependency numpy. So we do pip3 install numpy space PySpark. This is Apache Spark for Python. Okay, perfect. And the third step is to install Spark NLP, which we do pip3 install Spark NLP. This should download the latest version, which is 2.3.1 at the moment of this video. Perfect. Everything now installed, we can install we can launch Jupyter Notebook. Once we do that, a browser should pop up and we should see Jupyter's interface. We can click new solve Python 3 to create a new Python 3 notebook. For that, we can start using Spark NLP through the basic imports. That is import Spark NLP from Spark NLP base import asterisk and from Spark NLP annotator import asterisk. With that we can hit shift and enter and execute that cell. Then we need to initialize Spark with Spark NLP dependencies. To do that we can simply call a variable called Spark and run Spark NLP dot start open and close parentheses and we hit shift enter. This might take a few seconds depending on your hardware, but this will execute a Spark session environment. Okay, and once that finished, we can start using. Let's begin creating our first basic annotator, the document assembler. We create a variable called document and we call document assembler parenthesis and we set a basic definition. That is set input call and we call it text and set output call and we call it document. With that installed we need to add some data so we can work with. Let's create a data variable and we call spark create data frame and we open double brackets to mention the first row of the first column and we call a sentence made up which could be something like Peter is a good person. Then we need to rename this column to text so we can use it through our document assembler which is expecting a column named text. With this we can call data.show to visualize our data frame. Finally we can call document.transform parenthesis data to pass through the data and our document assembler is going to transform the data. To show the output we can call show truncate false and hit shift enter. If everything worked fine, we should see the text column, which is the original text column, and a document assembler output annotation, which includes the boundaries, the sentence, and some metadata. Okay, with this, you're ready to move on with Spark NLP, and hopefully this was useful for you.